All right, team of 2019, it's another great interview going down on the Motor Trend stage. Let's make some noise for the one and only Chris Jacobs. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you guys hanging out in the hot sun here, checking out some of our great Motor Trend talent right now. I got some of the newer members to the family. We got Chad Hiltz and his lovely fiance, Jolene, from, of course, Bad Chad Customs. Guys, welcome. Thank you very much. So let's talk about SEMA. First of all, you guys were here last year. This is your second year, it's year here at SEMA, but last year your show wasn't popping off like it is now. What's the difference for you guys walking around, getting recognized by the fans? No real difference. Um, I enjoy talking to everybody. Uh, I like good fans and bad fans. I just add you all together and make all kinds of fans. <laughs> Love it all. As long as they're fans, you know? Yeah, for sure. Jolene, how about you? How's the experience been different last year to this year? Um, it's, I don't know. It's kind of overwhelming at times, but it's fun. I mean, I don't know. We're, we're people. We're only human, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind all of. all good. Yeah, it's still new to us. Um, we love the feedback that we get from the show, and it just keeps us motivated to keep doing it. And, you know, that's the great thing about Car Guys is that we are down to earth. We're, we're one of the people. Love talking to the fans. Love getting that great feedback about our shows. Now, you guys have a great dynamic because, Jolene, you're not only engaged to Chad, you're also the shop manager. <laughs> That's true. Um, we're a great team. I mean, we collaborate together a lot on a lot of ideas, and it just, I don't know, it's opened my eyes a lot watching what he does, like in his creative mind. I mean, I was always a formula person in school, and he's so open-minded and outside of the box, so it's it's... Yeah, it's always exciting. It's a good yin and yang. It is. It's a match. <laughs> it's definitely a match. You know, you guys came together like magnets. Now, first season, you had six episodes, which, by the way, if you haven't seen them or want to watch them again, they are all available on the Motor Trend app, so you can check those out. Season two coming at us with eight new episodes, so we're stepping up a little bit. And last night, right here in this space, we revealed for the first time the Chadillac, which is parked right back here. Very cool build. Tell us about the process on that one, Chad. Well, we had a chance to build a car for a guy named Jamie Wilson, and uh, he owned a Chev dealership. And uh, around home, there's not much to pick and choose from, so you take what you get. And uh, we, just, we, we found a Cadillac, and uh, I looked towards a few people, Harley Earl, a few other people like that in history. I like to look towards the past because the past tells you the truth. You know exactly what's going on if you look in the past. Um, the future is something I look forward to, and uh, this is the car I built for him, and I just wanted to make it a dream car, um, a car that no one else has and no one else can buy. And that's what we do at Hilt's Auto Co. We build dream cars. And uh, I guess on the first episode, I said, um, my, char my cars are going to shape the world. And what I want to do is I want to let everybody know in the world, just because you don't have money doesn't mean you can't play. You know what I'm saying? Um, having no money causes creativity, and th that's what I like. Yeah, and you know, that's well said, Chad, too. And your shop really reflects that, too, because you guys are much more old-school builders. You know, you, you use what you have. You're talking about not having a lot to choose from automotive-wise. You got what you have in the shop. You have a very small team. Uh, you, your shop is close quarters, and yet you're able to put out these amazing creations because, as you said... It necessitates that creativity. Yeah, um, yeah hard work and uh, having no money causing creativity has put us where we're at. And uh, I'm addicted to hard work and honesty, and that's bad Chad. <laughs> I love it, man. All right, well, the Chadillac is obviously one of the episodes of season two, which is going to be hitting the airwaves in 2020. Um, can you tell us about any other builds you got lined up for the uh, eight new episodes? We, we've built five so far. Um, we're on our sixth. Um, believe it or not, we have four men in the shop and one beautiful woman, and we were able to build these cars one a month. Um, that's what we have to do. We only have a certain timeline in the season. Um, our season ends when the snow falls, and uh, we're doing the best we can. We've taken on seven builds this year. It's the most we've, I've ever done, and uh, we're pulling it off. Are all of you guys kind of uh, do-it-alls, or do you, each four of you have your own specialty? Well, I would wish that everybody could do it all. <laughs> 
but we all have a, a certain place. Um, we have Alex Gould. He's the mechanic from heaven, I call him. Um, <laughs> he can fix and get anything running, and I need that guy, you know? Yep. Um, I can't do it all myself. I have Jolene that gets the parts and makes sure all the shelves are full. I have a son that I hire and fire every other day. <laughs> he works hard, but I hire and fire him. Um, I want to be real. Uh, and I have... A new, a new guy we hired on is Brent Jodry. He's kind of an odd duck, but he works hard. <laughs> Don't give a shit. He works hard. <laughs> and that's the most important thing. All right, I you think got we got right. some uh, questions from the fan base. Tommy? We plucked one out of the uh, hundreds deep line to meet Chad and Jolene after the interview. This is Vinny from Ohio. How you doing? Good. Uh, my question is, what is the most unique car you've ever built, and what was your inspiration? I would say it would be the Green Goblin, and the inspiration was... I had no money to buy anything, but I had a couple junkers that someone give me. So I decided to have a marriage. <laughs> and they, they, they consoled, they married each other, and uh, I put one together with the other one. And uh, it's, it's kind of, you know, caused a wave for people to, I don't know what, people kind of looked at it like it's something different. It's a piece of art, how's that? It brought everybody together and everybody was talking about it, and it set me where I'm at now. You know, I think, it, you know, it set the stage that I can build a car. And that car was actually here at SEMA last year, so if you had a chance to check that out, you probably saw what a unique build it was. All right, how about a round of applause for Chad and Jolene, Bad Chad Customs. New one's coming at you in 2020, and check out all the old ones on the Motor Chart now. Guys, thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching, and keep watching.